Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the new task manager in Windows 10. Yeah, there was some news a couple of weeks ago and i have doing research, but I haven't found a lot. I mean, at least not at this time. And I thought, yeah, now I'm trying this on my own and show you the results and my thoughts about that. So this is how it is described. Usually there are not much saying about that. So I researched on what we have to download and it looks like this is the thing here in uh, Microsoft Store. So you just go, can go to the Microsoft Store and search for the Xbox inside the hub you have this uh, store down here usually or you can do uh, research i think it would find it as well yeah if you type microsoft store it will find the store and then you can search it here i guess maybe that's a little bit better but uh, yeah at the end it's same thing so you have to think yeah the, the reviews are not really good 280 and uh, average of two stars yeah anyway so what we have to do we have to install this thing to get the new task manager what it will do it will give you the latest uh, add-ons or uh, latest editions of the xbox plugin to the windows 10 of course that would mean you get new feature but on the other hand you get a little bit of more risk maybe more uh, crashes of these features or things which are not working or those things but i'm trying this here now for you you can see what we get so we have to install uh, shouldn't take too long i think yeah it's definitely not super fast takes quite some time of course depending a little bit on your bandwidth but i have actually uh, pretty fast internet but yeah it's 31 gigabytes and we can launch this thing here so let's see what we get join the xbox insider program yeah this is the reason why i downloaded this so okay and then we have to accept and yeah I'm level one yeah i haven't done a, a lot but uh, so now let's find out what we can do with this thing here yeah when i click here on the insider content here it brings me to this side and it says this uh, available game bar stk development i think that's it that's what we need so let's click on that and join and yeah so i guess that's the game board preview uh, we can always uh, leave uh, with unenroll so let's do this here yeah it also takes quite some time to install uh yeah here the note we have to be on a newer version means about 1809 which is not really new that's probably about two years old something like that so but always make sure that you are on the latest updates with your Windows 10. It helps. I mean, maybe not on the very latest update, but not too long back. So you still get all the security patches and those things. Yeah, there's a weird thing here. It says there was a problem with your last registration change. Your registration is taking longer than expected. Please check back later. Yeah that's uh so yeah okay looks like we cannot uh, do the uh, whole thing in one uh task we have to wait uh till the registration is uh yeah registered and then we have to go back here into the xbox insider hub and then continue so i finally managed to get the new game bar but it took really really long and uh, i mean i don't know what i have done wrong i have been a couple of times uh, invoking the xbox insider hub uh yeah to check what's going on and it, it was always saying pending 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 i mean when you invoke this thing here i mean you can find it here or wherever you have it uh, after installing that uh, you have to go to inside the content and then you see what you have subscribed i mean we are talking about the game bar 
and here we have i think uh, we can click on manage you can select what you want and i think we uh, are more talking like uh, about the game bar preview sdk development and not this one but i'm not 100 percent sure it's really confusing but i have actually uh, selected both of them so click here ma make done then after that this and done and yeah when we go back what i have found is uh yeah it, it was always pending it was always showing pending when i went here or somewhere it was always showing like a circle rotating and saying pending and what i did finally i was clicking uh, on show in store here game bar sdk development show in store and that's the thing here in it invoked the store and uh, yeah i just clicked on that uh, there's something where, where you can choose to buy it's strange but the, the price is zero you can click here and say buy 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 finalize yeah okay yeah check out go to check out buy and so those things yeah i think i have some screenshot still here yeah here we are i hope you can still see that pc reacted a little bit strange on that but uh, anyway yeah here we have it uh, here can then that's the microsoft store game bar i clicked on add to cart check out these things then you can click on launch and those things it was super weird yes so probably there are easier uh, ways or people who have an easier way straightforward for me it didn't work but at the end i found it now let's invoke it i hope you can see that yeah so here we are with the new game menu yeah i couldn't uh, screen record this i don't know how i would do that bandicam was not recording this even in full screen so it looks like it's in in front of the full screen i don't know why or how microsoft has uh, been doing this so usually when i record with bandicam it takes everything so i haven't been able to record that so i had to record again i was doing that already so i have to record this second time so here we are uh, maybe the my comments is a little bit confusing but i'm going to show you here the thing so here we have the menu hope you can see that here on top we have this widget menu and we have the old thing which we already had the performance here that's the thing which we have down here you can see you can see cpu gpu vram uh, ram uh, frames per second these things we have also a little bit of config where we can say what we uh, want to see and the new thing here is the resources we can also uh, put this on favorite and the, here we have the menu i'll put it a little bit in the center maybe you can see that better there's not much here i mean there's just uh, like the tasks uh, we have tasks which are consuming a lot of power you can see they are probably in yellow on medium yeah that's the two browsers and everything which is not consuming a lot is in green and if we would have something like critical which would be in a loop and consuming extremely a lot of resources would be probably red so uh, yeah it's not bad i mean i'm pressing to show you how fast this is here i'm just pressing uh, windows g again and it's gone and i'm starting it windows g bang and we have it here so fast i mean when we have it here pinned or at least as uh, favorite uh, activate all the time so we have it within like a tenth of a second and we can kill a task here when we hover on top of that we can see that we can end these tasks here of course i'm not uh, ending the browser which i need but if i had something like a strange task in the back consuming a lot of power cpu ram and those things i could now uh, end such a task within really really short time this is uh, probably the intention there's so it's it's so focused just on this thing here uh, it has nothing to do with the normal uh, task manager with uh, all the full functions with so many pictures everything showing the ram and uh, yeah like everything like the bandwidth and 
uh, CPU and everything. There's not even a percentage. You can't see anything. So this is just something to quickly react. This is not something to do deep research on the system. If you want to do analysis of your system, what's going on for long term or do optimization. This is just really something which you use during gaming. And if you think there are lags or something going on in the back, maybe some process, some virus scanner has started full scan or something like that, you would see that immediately immediately and you could cancel that. So that's, uh, that's really helpful, but it doesn't replace uh, a full size task manager. But uh, yeah, it's not bad. I don't know why they made this huge report in this uh, tech news uh, uh, about this small widget here. I mean, yeah, it, it could help. Yeah, why, why not to have it? I mean, it doesn't really bother on the other hand. Uh, to get this, we have to go into the development uh, versions, which are not uh, as stable. So I don't know if it's worth it, but uh, yeah, you, it, it's your decision. I just wanted to show you how this works, how to install what we get. And I uh, hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.